Okay, so you might have seen this here before. It's kW is equal to kA times kB. This is the water ionization constant is equal to the acid ionization constant times the base ionization constant. So these three values are all linked together and we're just going to talk about them for a little while right now. So first of all, let's talk about kA. Uh, we want the partial dissociation of a weak acid. So let's start with acetic acid here. Let's say CH. 3COOH. This is acetic acid and we're going to partially dissociate it in water. So we have plus H2O. Okay, and this is going to go to, uh, well, what's going to happen here? Because it's a weak acid, it's going to be the proton donor here. It's going to take this hydrogen and it's going to kind of float over here and join on with the other reactant. So what we're going to be resulting in here is uh, CH3. COO minus, and this is going to be plus H, well, this will now be H3O plus hydronium. Okay, so now this is just uh, acetic acid, and so if you look in the back of your textbook or anywhere, pretty much you can find that the Ka of this uh, is going to be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, right? That's print, pretty much printed in every textbook. So what we want to do now is we talked about a little bit about Ka, um, kind of just rushed through this, and now what we're going to do is we want to relate this to Kb. So if we want the Kb of something, here, let's do that in blue. We want to write the Kb of something here. Um, now if we do the Kb, we're talking about bases now instead of acids, um, and we, we said that here, this is our weak acid and its conjugate base. So if we do the Kb of its conjugate base now, now if we just mix this with water, here we can go here and put this is going to be going to become our weak base now. So we'll have CH3COO minus plus H2O, right? This is our weak base, but this is also the conjugate base of our weak acid. This is very important that you remember that. So what's going to happen when we mix these here is now this is a weak base, so it's going to be a proton acceptor. So what we're going to do basically here is one of these hydrogens is going to float over here and join up. So if we want to write this, now what's going to happen is we're going to have our weak base here will be CH3COO, and because this is now our conjugate acid, it will have an extra H there, which came from our H2O. And so if we, there we go, doesn't want to work. Um, and now if we have H2O minus 1H, we're going to be left over with OH minus. There we go. Okay, and again, if you look in the back of your textbook, this is acetate. Um, and the Kb can be found to be uh, 5.6. Here we go, times 10 to the negative 10. Times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, cool. So now we have those two values. Um, now what we want to talk about something is called Kw. Now Kw is uh, constant, it is 1 times, uh, here we go, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Okay, and how we get the water ionization constant is basically we just want to ionize water. So we have H2O, and we're just going to ion change this into its ions basically, and we're going to get OH minus plus H3O plus, or you know, we could write this as an H, you know, just a single proton, it might make a little more sense, but if we write it this way, we can just balance it out here by putting a two in front of the water. Now something we have to look at here is, if we combine two chemical reactions, what we have to do is we just have to cancel out everything that was on each side. So let's look at this, we had uh, acetic acid here, plus water, uh, gets us acetate and hydronium, and here we have We'll acetate plus water and we get acetic and uh, hydroxide. So look, we have, if we want to combine this uh, this top reaction with the middle reaction, what we're going to get is we can cancel out acetic here with this acetic, and we can cancel out this acetate with this acetate. And what we're left over with is we have an H2O plus an H2O, and it's going to give us two waters, two H2Os, and on this side we're left with H3O plus and OH minus, so here we have OH minus and H3O plus. So basically what this is, is if we combine, by combining um, these two reactions here, we're getting the water ionization 
uh, reaction anyways. So the cool thing about this is we say Kw is equal to Ka times Kb. Well, when we uh, combine chemical reactions, um, what we have to do is we multiply their equilibrium constants. So by doing that, we want to say, you know, we could call this, you know, like reaction one, and we could call this reaction two, and this is equal to reaction one, you know, times reaction two. So by doing that, uh, we just want to multiply this one, this uh, k value times this k value to get the third k value. So if you go and just do that in your calculators, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10, um, you'll see you actually do get 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So that's why this is true and that's why this makes sense. Now this is just one example. Uh, I picked acetic acid, but Really, we can do this, we can generalize this for any acid, um, like a weak acid and conjugate base, or base and conjugate acid combination. So let's just write that in a little more general term down here. So we're going to say we have maybe, we'll have our Ka, we'll have Kb, and again we'll have Kw. So let's say um, we can write this in a slightly different notation just to be more general. So we can write this, um, we can write our weak acid like this, we can say HA, it's just kind of a shorthand way to write it, uh, and then what we're going to have to do is plus H2O, like that. Okay, and then when we go on to the other side, remember we're taking this extra hydrogen off of our weak acid and adding it to the water. So we're going to take this H, get rid of it, so we'll be left over with A plus now this is H3O plus, and I guess this would be A minus. Okay, so now we can say, remember we said this is our conjugate base. Here is our conjugate base. Um, instead of writing A minus here as our conjugate base, which was here, uh, what we can do is we can instead, you know, just call this a B. But really, let's not forget that in this case, A minus is equal to B. These are the same thing. This is our conjugate base, and this is our weak base now that we're talking about with our um, base ionization constant here. So let's go back to green, and we can say our base plus H2O. Um, and what we're going to get is this H2O is going to donate one of the H's, uh, one of the hydrogens to our base. So we'll get BH, and this will be plus OH minus. All right, so now let's look at this. Um, and because we're using our conjugate, because uh, because our conjugate acid, our conjugate base, sorry, here is the base that we're using here, we know that these will cancel out. And if we have a conjugate base of an acid and we just add that extra hydrogen onto it, well, that's basically here, this is our conjugate base plus one extra hydrogen. If we just add that in, we're going to get back to our original weak acid. So that's the same thing. So HA is equal to BH for any case, right? It's, these could be anything, whatever. It's just this, we're only really concerned about this one hydrogen. So when we're all done all that, we're going to look here and we'll say, well, if we want to add these two together, we had 2H2O is going to um, result with, again, OH minus plus H3O plus.